There are striking correlations between the tornado disaster of Joplin, Missouri in May 2011 and certain other disasters as well as certain biblical connections. First, you might recall that the Deepwater Horizon oil well disaster occurred on April the 20th, 2010. It was just one year later when the Joplin disaster occurred. Both disasters revolved around presidential policies that were announced just a day or two before the disasters occurred. Each of these two presidential policies, coincidentally, involved declarations against the nation of Israel. On April the 19th, 2010, Fox News carried a headline article announcing that the Obama administration had declared that the United States would no longer categorically support Israel in the United Nations Security Council. Actually, discussion of this policy had been in the works and was being reported for several weeks prior to April the 19th. However, on April the 19th, the policy made headlines on the most watched news agency in America. The next day, April the 20th, 2010, the Deepwater Horizon rig blew. Its far-reaching and devastating effects are still rippling through our nation. On May the 19th, 2011, just one year later, Obama himself announced to the world that Israel should return to its 1967 borders. In so doing, many Middle Eastern experts agree that Israel would be utterly destroyed by her surrounding Arab and Muslim enemies. In making this declaration, Obama struck out at the heart of God, the apple of his eye, the land of Israel, the heartland of God's world. On May the 22nd, just three days later, the Joplin F5 tornado hit. What's so significant about Joplin? Consider these startling correlations. Israel, and Jerusalem in particular, is the heart and the heartland of God. Joplin is in Missouri. Missouri is not only one of the heartland states of America, it is the heart of the heartland and is, according to the Wikipedia article on Missouri, the, quote, broadest representation of American culture. But why Joplin? Joplin, according to Ancestry.com, comes from a word that means unbelievably, Job. If you will remember, Job is the oldest book in the Bible, one of the oldest books known to mankind, and it is the account of a man who lost everything he had in a disaster of monumental proportions. But the correlations don't end there. Obama's call for the 67 border return was a direct attack on Jerusalem itself, especially the old city which represents Jerusalem of biblical times. And what is the correlation between the old city Jerusalem and Joplin? the correlations are striking. The Old City Jerusalem population is between 45 and 50,000 people. Joplin, Missouri's city limits population is 50,000 people. The two cities are practically identical in, in population. On May the 19th, Obama calls for the division of Israel, affecting particularly Jerusalem, the Old City, undeniably striking out at the heart of God. Three days later, May the 22nd, the heartland of America is struck with an F5 tornado. Hundreds dead, untold financial destruction, and it happens to be a city whose population statistics are the same as the old city Jerusalem. The city's name is Joplin, and it means Job. Are these merely striking coincidences, or is this meant to be a lesson to America? Do not divide my land, especially Jerusalem declares the Lord. The facts reported in this video are true. The correlational conclusions will be left to you.